Hey guys, so this is the second part of my garage sale haul and this is going to be all the rest of the stuff besides clothes and kids stuff. So I'm really excited about this video. It, I'm going to have to go through it quickly because I did get a lot of stuff. As I said in my first video, um, I did go over budget. I spent about $150, but there's two items in here that I've been looking for for a while uh, that take up $90 of that. So the rest, I did have a $60 budget that I wanted to take. Um, you know, I didn't want to spend more than that. And I met that budget, but these two things threw me off. So that's how I'm making myself feel better about it. But let's get started. I want to show you everything because I'm super excited. Okay, I'm going to show you one of the big things first. So this chair with the pillow and the cushion, I spent 50 bucks for. What? Yep. Yep, and I want to show you this. This is a really nice pillow. I probably won't use it on this chair because I want you to see the back of this. It's amazing, um, but it's like satin on the edging. It's super soft, nice green. It's called chive, the color. The uh, person paid $19.95 for this. And the cushion that's on the chair, she spent $45 for. It's just beautiful. Um, really, you can tell it's high quality. And then if I put it down in the chair, look at this chair. Isn't that perfect for my house? I mean, the colors, the textures, the back is unbelievable. This is very much like a chair that I've been wanting from Pottery Barn. I did turn it over to see if by chance it might be the chair. Um, but I couldn't find anything, any markings on it. It's just gorgeous. Look at that. It is very well made. It is, um, she said she spent $300 or more on this chair. I can believe it. And there's the $50. Isn't that beautiful? I'm so excited. That's how she had it. And it may really need that pillow, um, because it is wood on the back, but, uh, I just love it. I really love it without the pillow because I, I really like the wood. So that's my $50 over budget item. I got this huge basket to put like blankets and stuff in. I paid $5 for that. Good quality. I got 15 gift bags and there's some beautiful, this has got velvet on it. Just some really good quality gift bags in here. Um, there's, I think 18 actually here. They're all like in perfect condition, all really high quality. Guess how much I paid for these? A buck 50 for all of them. So basically 10 cents a piece. I won't need to buy gift bags for a really long time. Um, these two little bags, oh wow, there's actually three bags in here. Look at that. I paid a quarter. I didn't even realize it had a third bag. Does it have a fourth bag? No. <laughs> Never good enough, huh? It's a quarter for those three. This is a little nightlight. I think that's a hummingbird. I'm going with that. It's like a shadow and it has a light in there. It's never been used. 35 cents. Those are great to have in the motorhome. Oh, and then this is really nice. It's by Primax and it's a gorgeous pen. It'll be nice for work. It's got these diamonds on the top here and then it's this brushed gold. I paid $2 for that and it's in the little case. I paid a dollar. This was still in the plastic. I actually took it out as soon as I got in the car because this is one of my favorite movies and this soundtrack is amazing. They actually won, I think, a Grammy. I think that's for music for this album. It is phenomenal. Um, this was a, a dollar and it is Live Like You're Dying. It's the book. It's in perfect condition and the CDs in there. I thought that would be a great gift. Uh, I did go to, um, there was a little market going on, made and homegrown, and I bought this there. It's got a metal wire, 
It's hand painted and it was a buck fifty and it's painted all the way around for a buck fifty. That was really good. Uh, and then I got these beautiful, amazing flowers. This bouquet of flowers was ten dollars. And then these are so good. The lady was giving samples there. And it's called Grandma Edna Seasoning. And this lady puts no sugar, no preservatives. It's all MSG free. Um, she mixes her own mixes and they are so good. This one's called Dang That's Good Seasoning. And this one is a special seasoning. And it's basically like you add this to um, cream cheese or sour cream or mayo and it's for veggies and she had samples of all of these uh, and I wanted to show her card real quick so here's her card and it says no gluten starch sugar dairy MSG corn or soy so that's perfect for what I'm going for www.grandmaednas.com um, those are the only things that I bought at the um, fair I got this at a garage sale, the same one that I bought the chair at for $2, and I all my um, dinnerware is fiesta wear, so this would go perfect, and then I got it home, and I'm like, oh, I want that as my vase, so there you go. Um, I got this. This is another Mary Kay satin handset, and I actually paid $5 for this. I paid a quarter for each of these. So this here is an amazing haul where I bought all the clothes for like a quarter a piece. Um, let's see, Th this lady was a Cookie Lee um, person and all of these things have the price tag on them and I paid for the bracelets, I paid $3. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. It's $38. These are also by Cookie Lee. The regular price for those is $26. It's just gorgeous. Look at that. It's like topaz colors on a, gold, a long gold chain. Normally $29. I paid $5 for this necklace, $2 for the earrings. $3 for each bracelet. This is another cuff bracelet. It pulls apart like that. Really nice finish. I really like it. And the regular price on that was $28. This is the Pista Resistance. I had to actually put it out on the towel so you could see how gorgeous the beadwork. And it's called the Glass Seed Bead Necklace. It was normally $48. It is amazing. It's so pretty. You'd have to have the right outfit to wear it with, but it's pretty neat. And that was five bucks. Crazy. So at the other garage sale where I got some of the kids stuff, like the little people thing, I got this vintage set of pearls. It's a triple strand very heavy. Uh, if they're not real per pearls, they are a really good quality imitation, but I can tell that they're vintage from the way that they're beaded and from the locket that's on here. Really pretty. And this kind of matches for like a layering piece. It's just a super long. These were a buck each. I paid a buck for this, a buck for this. This is a great find right here. You can see that that is a Citizen Echo Drive, which my watch that I wear every day is also a Citizen Echo Drive, and it doesn't have the calendar on it, and I paid like $300 for it. This is in great condition. I love the blue face. I paid a buck, and it's working. It just, the, this will never stop working. It doesn't have a battery in it. You just have to wear it and your movement is what charges up the battery. And they're really cool. And this is so beautiful. See, that is dried flowers in there. The chain is stamped silver and the back of this is solid silver. It's stamped, it's heavy, it, has a lot of silver content and I just thought that was gorgeous. It has these little uh, amethyst looking beads and it just needs to be cleaned up. 
and that was a dollar. I got this for my husband. It was two dollars. It's just a lunch box. I got these cute baskets. This is metal. I thought it was pretty. 50 cents. This one's also metal. It's like the chicken wire. Look at that bag. Isn't that neat? It's like muslin with these cute buttons and this lace detail. And I paid a buck for it. It is a little bit stained. I think they used it to hold some craft stuff, but I'm gonna just, I don't care. Then I got some, I got this basket. Just a long basket. Good quality, very heavy. It's metal on the bottom in here, so it, it'll hold up. And it's this thick, like, sea um, grass, I think it is. Uh, some party supplies, napkins, 25 cents a piece. These little bamboo forks, that was 25 cents. This is, I think it's a banner, but they're really fine, like, individual colored flowers. And that's going to be fun to decorate with. And, and then these I got for everything was a quarter each. And there's two tissue flowers in there. They look like that. And then just a, a good quality black tablecloth. Um, all that was a quarter. I paid a quarter for this whole roll. It was regularly $10.98. I don't know yet what I'm going to do with it. But for a quarter, I couldn't pass it up. I got this whole stack with the lids. They're the um, first years for babies, uh, but I'm gonna use them for lunch. I got all those for 10 cents. This is a Tupperware. Um, it, it's great for mixing up dressings. It's got a separator thing in the top, 50 cents. And look, I got my pop sugar. Woo! That's their year, the August is their year anniversary, so I'm super excited about that. Uh, these are the only two glass pieces that I got, but this is really neat, isn't it? With all the bubbles, it's really heavy. I paid $3 for that, and then I paid $2 for this piece. See the iridescence in it? And they had dirt. It was so dirty. This whole thing was full of dirt, and it looks like they cut it. See? Which is fine for me. It's flat. So it'll work perfect for what I need. Okay, and here is the other thing I splurged on. This is a Nikon Coolpick S3100. Super small, Coolpick Nikon, like new. She only used it a couple times. It's got my fingerprints on it. Uh, great camera. Uh, I went to Rite Aid and they're having a special. They're eight gig cards, which are normally 30 bucks or 12 bucks. And for us vloggers, uh, you can never have enough uh, big SD cards. So if you have a Rite Aid by you, go pick that up. Um, so I put it in because it didn't come with an SD card. Uh, it has all the charging stuff, all the brochures, the discs, everything. It came with this case. Um, I put the card in and it worked. I did a video. It, it's perfect. She had already had it charged up. It was at the high-end garage sale that I was at. I paid $40 for that and this set right now on Amazon same exact camera case and card is $135 so I Couldn't pass it up. I even said in my other video the beginning before I went garage selling that that was something I was looking for it was like a new camera so the chair was 50 and the camera was 40 so there's my $90 over and for all the rest of this stuff, all of the stuff, including the basket, all this, except for these, I, I, I owe $10 of my 60. So really, all this stuff's 50 bucks. I did um, pay separate for those. I think I did pretty good. What do you think? I'm happy with uh, this haul. I got. And I didn't get a bunch of stuff I'm never going to use. I got, I'll, I love Cookie Lee. That's one of my favorite brands of jewelry. That was amazing find for me. That chair, um, I'm thinking I'm going to put it out in my sitting area. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you are having a wonderful weekend. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.